So, described as the grand finale of the long scream songs, Tomorrow 2, and an actual Prime trailer. What the feckin' year is this, or has lockdown got me completely hallucinating? The Prime trailer this time around was pretty badass, and the beat was great. The transition from CGI to gameplay was on point, but... It wasn't realistic. You all know that this is how you will be playing Octavia. Invisible as feck while teabagging mid-air to get those buffs. You know what, right? Don't even lie. Don't even go there. Teabag Prime has arrived. Maybe that's why her Prime doesn't stand out visually as much from the normal Octavia because they all know that you will be invisible for most of the time. Of course, Octavia Prime comes complete with her signature weapons, the Tenora Prime Rifle and the Pandero Prime Pistol as well. The Pandero is easily one of my favourite sidearms in Warframe and has been for the longest time. So getting a buffed up Prime version of this is a really welcomed addition. More crit, more status, more overall damage, more fanning the hammer. Pandero Prime build, please. Now, the Tenora is also one of the more enjoyable i guess spool up rifles in game with 200 rounds in the magazine this time around and buffs to its crit chance status chance fire rate crit multiplier and of course its base damage as well so if you like the original tenora then this is going to be a weapon that you're going to want to get your hands on especially with the alt fire as well on top of that using her signature weapons with octavia prime has kept the extra benefits the same buffs that you get with normal octavia from the signature weapons once she has them equipped for her and they are headshot kills Kills with the Tenora Prime when equipped with Octavia Prime has a 20% chance to refill your magazine and headshot kills with the Pandero Prime will increase your reload by 20% or has a chance to increase your reload by 20%. Now Octavia Prime comes with an extra 25 base shield and 25 extra energy as well as an extra D polarity. Octavia's prime effect is a rolling drum or wheel instead of her roly ball as her resonator these are the relics you're also going to need to farm in order to get your hands on all of the weapon parts and octavia prime's parts as well courtesy of spreadsheet dave so happy hunting if you're going after all of the parts on top of this octavia prime has our very own primed shaws in to jam out to the arresty prime shaws and so if you're into making music in warframe then this is definitely going to be for you. Now, like all Prime Access packs in Warframe, it's completely up to the user whether or not you choose to buy it or farm it, depending on, I guess, your time limitations with work, college, or whatever, or I guess your, your income. The price is insanely overvalued. We all know that. And I would always advise farming it over purchasing it. But you do you. Now, that's Octavia Prime. That's how you farm all of her parts, the relics you're going to need. That's the items coming with her. The accessory pack, if I'm being honest, I'm not a big fan of. I don't like the armor. It just looks like they've taken one piece and multiplied it all over the body and just kept it the same. But maybe you enjoy it. If you do, let me know in the comment section below. Now i got to go and form the crap out of each one of these items to make a video on them. Let me know what you think of the access. And as always, thanks for watching.